I'm Holly Steer, I'm from Warren, Minnesota, and I'm a junior studying physical education and corporate fitness. My name is Taylor Benjamin, I'm a physical education major here at Minot State. I'm currently a senior, and I'm originally from Minot, North Dakota. So we went to Los Cabos in Mexico, and we stayed at the Secrets Resort down there, and it was absolutely breathtaking. Every day was a new activity plan pretty much prepared me for especially a physical education teacher on top of actually being able to teach yoga lessons. Um, it better prepared me because I had to be able to adapt to those lesson plans and those students and then come up with different lesson plans every day. The best part was making those connections with people and building those relationships even in our short time down there. It was easy to make friends. I mean everyone was happy like you're in Mexico, not much to complain about. Recruited people, went out to dinner with our professor Terry Ekman and yeah, so that was kind of a day-to-day -day thing. There was a bunch of things to do. Um, obviously it started out with our group exercise classes but um, even like throughout the day, throughout the afternoon there was always some sort of like entertainment so they always had um, like the entertainment staff would run different things whether it was like um, playing poker in the water on like a little board ping pong, volleyball, there was always activities. During our trip there was a hurricane so that kind of put a switch on things. We ended up not teaching the next day after the hurricane. All of the um, guests at the resort kind of came together and helped pick up that next day after. So it was a lot of cleanup, um, trying to put the resort back together to how it was. It changed us a little bit because we did teach under a gazebo that was on the beach and it ended up getting completely destroyed by the hurricane. We weren't even allowed like access down there so we didn't have to change like our location of all of our classes. But everything went fine after that. It was just a little bump in the road is how we took it. So there's a few differences from teaching here at the Wellness Center on campus to um, when we taught in Mexico. The biggest being here at the Wellness Center, like I know um, like who's in the class or like friends or you know just um, our age group. But like in Mexico, I mean the ages varied anywhere from like people in their 20s to even in their 50s and 60s. So just being able to make sure to show the regressions and progressions for um, all the exercises and just cater to their exercise ability. So I definitely think the adapting was a huge difference and then being able, like new environment, new like positions that they were willing to be in, whether it was like a gentle class or a more intense class, you kind of had to work with them rather than being told what to do. So every day it was just a different group of people so you just had to adapt with them. I was able to go down to Mexico with Terry Ekman and I've had her as a professor ever since I was a freshman here and I've always looked up to her. She's always been a role model of mine and being able to ex have this experience with her and have her give me this opportunity to go to Mexico was absolutely like inspiring and I really took it to heart. So being able to experience that with her and have her and I grow as a partnership, it really mean a lot to me and I was able to actually be on that side of things with her. Getting to learn from Dr. Ekman has been an experience in itself. When I transferred here, it was during COVID, so uh, we were wearing masks, social distance, and I didn't really know any of my fellow peers or hadn't met anyone yet. Um, but I was taking Dr. Ekman's class and I was like, wow, like this woman knows her stuff and I just kind of paid extra attention and like take extra notes and just kind of wanted to soak up everything that she was teaching. And through that, she kind of saw something in me that I didn't see myself and she shared that with me. And I think that that was like a good confidence booster for me. During my time here at MSU, it's been really neat being able to study both the corporate fitness and the physical education. Getting both of these experiences has helped in terms of opening up more doors um, for more opportunities of where I want to go after after graduation. So after graduation I plan on becoming a physical education teacher and then also with instructing yoga I plan on getting more certifications through different levels of yoga and then continuing to instruct that hopefully at either a yoga studio or just in my own practice.